News and the death investigation of Anitra Gunn. Let's get right to CBS 46's Adam Harding. And Karen, just minutes ago, we confirmed through a source that Anitra Gunn's death is now being handled as a homicide investigation. The cause of death, according to my source, right now is to be determined. That will hinge on toxicology re reports, which we might not expect for a couple of weeks. The GBI just finishing up an autopsy. It is our understanding that they performed that autopsy today. I've been in contact with the GBI. The update I got from them this morning was that they do plan to provide an update today, but it is unclear at what time that update will come out later on. Now, we do know that the 23-year-old Fort Valley student was found dead earlier this week in a wooded area that was in Crawford County. And again, the cause of death right now is still unclear. We do know that she went to Westlake High School here in Atlanta and her boyfriend, Demarcus Little, was arrested on unrelated charges earlier this week. He is accused of vandalizing her car. Now, I did speak with the sheriff in Peach County earlier today. He tells me that Little will appear in front of a judge tomorrow at this time at around one o'clock tomorrow to answer those charges. And we, of course, will be there and we will have more team coverage on this latest breaking development right now on the death investigation into Anitra Gunn. Again, a source confirming it is now being considered a homicide. Cause of death will pend on the toxicology results. That balloon release is scheduled for 530 for friends to say a farewell. Karen.